I'm attempting to be the first to drive a tuk-tuk from the most southern point of Argentina to the most northern point of Alaska, accompanied by my trusty four-legged friend. We're on our way south to officially start the journey, and so far since crossing to Chile, we've wild camped in the snow, had a rude awakening by Chilean cowboys, and tuk-tuked off-road for Patty to see the ocean for her first time. This is the three-wheel dream. I didn't want to muck around with hostels and stuff, so I've already, like, last night booked uh, a cheaper Airbnb, so it's, it's kind of nice. It's like, well... All we got to do today is kind of just pack up and send it on out of here. Life's pretty simple lately. We just find a bakery, drive a little, find a wild camp to pass the night and then rinse and repeat. I'm chilling. She's chilling. Where you at? <laughs> We're having a good time. Well, we made it to Kitahue. Kitaway, I think that's how you pronounce it. I honestly thought this would be a big town, but it's not, and that's that's cool. I think Conception is gonna be pretty big. Nonetheless, it should be a bakery here, surely. Now these guys are more like, uh, like they had really nice cakes, but they're more like a um, high-end cafe, so he said half the street. Panaderia, so Pan is bread, panaderia is bakery. You have carne, which is meat, carneseria is butcher. English complicates it, I don't know, but Spanish at least makes it nice and easy. So, as in like, if you know the word and you chuck eria in the end of it, you, you're on the right track to, to somebody knowing what you're on about. That was a, a pregnant street dog. That was just all bones, man, a skeleton. But I think we found a bakery on the corner. So it's it's kind of like a self-service, which is cool. These have the same price, so you can put them in the same bag and the rest have the other same price, so I don't know that. That looks pretty good. I want to try some of these. I don't know what they are. They look good. And a baguette. Yeah, why not? Couple of these. Es masita blanda y esa es masa dura. Te pide una de arriba también. Una? Sí. Yeah. Gracias. Más una empolvado y olía. All right, so we fully rated a bakery, all up three dollars fifty. Going into it, I'm like, don't get a pastry, right? Don't get a pastry, and I'm like, I've never tried that before. I took the first bite of this cheeky thing. It's like soft dough, but. I thought it was an alfajor, I guess it is, but with like bland flour. I'm, I'm so confused what it is, but it's really good. I'm making a mess. You see that I've got like the icing sugar all over me, but that's good, man. See, that's fully electric. Three wheel motorbike with a trailer on the back. That's kind of what it is. That's kind of what a tuk-tuk is as well, but I think that's why Chile's less impressed with my vehicle. Like in Argentina, everybody was celebrating seeing me on the road and that. And then with those vehicles, cause they exist and they're somewhat popular for like Literal street vendors or like market vendors, small transportations of things. But then, if then they find out that I'm like I'm traveling in the vehicle that I'm using, they're like, "All right, now nah, that's that's insane. <laughs> what are you doing?" Hola, cómo estás? I'm being spotted. ¿Cómo está? ¿Ella se porta bien? Buenísimo. Sí, sí, por, no hay puertas, ¿viste? Entonces es la, la alarma. Muy bien, Pati. 
Muy bien. And we just went into this cafe on my left and just got agua. Sorry, water, hot water for the mate. So that's how we kind of like it. We like to heat up the tuk-tuk, get it cooking a little bit, drive down the road. Um, and then when we want to stop, we can, we can stop. Paddy can have a run around. I can have a proper breakfast and a rest and the tuk-tuk can cool down. You've done great, Paddy. I'm gonna just take a bite out of this custard bun. Mm. Damn, that's a good bakery, eh? I got an absolute assortment of bread, so I'm keen to try that. Just based on how good the pastries are. <laughs> Wait, so I'm trying some bread. So it's really hard to drive with one hand and eat and like do a, a bread review. <laughs> the hand that I'm holding the camera with is the hand accelerating. Check it out, right? It's slightly sweeter, but also maybe the type of like pastry that you'd find on the outside of a pie without filling it's like that's pretty cool Hola, party. so that through there's the highway we just bulldozed our way up this road that doesn't look used at all it's like a fence this side fence this side that's the driveway entrance abandoned clearly it's like Shrubs galore. Got the tuk tuk. Literally, if we didn't already have plans for tonight, organized, this could definitely be a viable option for a wild camp because it's just surrounded by shrubs. If we maneuvered the tuk tuk a little bit better, we could probably fit the, the tent somewhere here. Um, nonetheless, though, we got the hammock set up as a little shade. I had a great time editing this morning, so this is what we're doing. We got the battery, just having the fans exposed, the waterproof bag. We got the like edit loading up there, and that's the thermos because we're gonna finish off some of this bread and have a mate. So yeah, it's just heating up. Look at that, that's like, that's epic. The The ginger needs to have a bit of shade protection. Um, and it's good to keep the laptop cool as well. We've got shorts on and then we changed the thongs. So we're just 60 kilometers from where we need to be. And we can't check in until about three or 4 p.m. So it's just on 12.30. Gonna have a productive little bit of editing. Um, how cool is it? Like I really enjoy the editing and then I really enjoy the travel, it's just, what a send. And especially now with the new setup, it's like, it's a whole new realm of, of freedom and it's incredible, so. And out of the bushes we come, more or less. I'm trying to film and drive and. It's gorgeous. Place. Good girl. The coastal route through Chile has been such a, an incredible route to come. So scenic and a little bit more chill countryside. Patty and I are loving it. And we're suburbs in Conception. Um, uh, Airbnb in a couple streets and we're uh, yeah looks like a good vibe it's like good that I've organized this ahead of time good job Ryan because right now if not I'd be asking people and like going word of mouth oh shoot it's that yeah it's just one so it's just one street back we've got like a nice little plaza I guess It's a gated community I've just seen, so I don't know. I literally might leave. That's 
the first sushi place I've seen in Latin America. Um, anyway, I'm gonna just leave Paddy in the tuk-tuk and just go try to suss out. I'm supposed to leave, meet this guy in like 10 minutes, I said, but I texted him like two days ago. You stay here, yeah? Hey, relax, stay in. So this is the beautiful issue with not traveling with a SIM or Wi-Fi. I've found the number um, just based on Google Maps Talked to the guy at the front reception. He gave me this key. The guy of the, the owner of the place won't be back until like apparently late. And now I don't have Wi Fi. Okay, this is. Ah, ah, okay. This, gracias. But like, yeah, so the place is gonna be, the place is 28 USD and it's like a, a share apartment um, and pet friendly. I just didn't. Like I've, I'm, I messaged him saying I'd be here about 4 p.m. two days ago off Wi-Fi thinking, yeah, I'm gonna wild camp last night and then stay at his place tonight, but I haven't had Wi-Fi since and I hadn't, didn't have Wi-Fi since I booked it. So I was literally arriving here without knowing if I was able to stay or not, but um, looks like it came through, so that's good. Pretty fancy, if that's what you get when I guess you book ahead. You don't just get to a spot pay like 40 bucks and you're staying in a <laughs> shell. Well, right. Hola, como estas? Right. That's so random. You just literally, um, I let myself into like a place someone else is living in. It feels really wrong without meeting the guy or speaking to him. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, that's, that's the view. I'm literally gonna look for the Wi-Fi password um, so I can message this guy that I'm in his house. Hola gatos. Hola gatos. Hola, hola. Cats, uh, gatos is cats. They're pretty friendly. Wow. <laughs> you want to meet Patti? This looks like it's my room, so... This is the spot. Um, until we get, like, parking sorted, Patty might be having a stay in the tuk-tuk to protect it, because there's parking out the back, but the, we didn't organize or sort that ahead of time. And I can't find a Wi-Fi code, so... I guess I'm just going to bring my laptop here. Do some editing um, and wait for old mate. But this is cool. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Um, nice. The world is good. Um, I'll explain in the room. So I had the genius idea to just knock on. I went like and knocked on 10 different doors. Eventually had someone that opened. I think I woke her up from a siesta. My bad. Um, but she let me use the Wi-Fi and then I found I opened the Airbnb app and then could see that he's like a, like a pro obviously approved the The room for me to stay in and then I found the Wi-Fi through that So now I'm just gonna call him off of this Wi-Fi in his apartment um, Tell him I'm here and just ask him if I could just um, Get permission to leave the tuk-tuk in the back here and that way I can just bring Patty inside rather than having her street side <laughs> chilling. So we got it. <laughs> just when I was about to speak, Patty, um, we got a few upgrades. Kind of the reason we came to Conception was we just wanted to upgrade a few things while we're maybe in the largest city we're gonna be in, potentially until Buenos Aires um, in Argentina. Um, as we're on track to, to head out of here in a couple weeks, we're making good time through this beautiful country. Um, especially with all the wild camping, it keeps me going, going, going. Anyway, um, you guys have seen this for, for quite a while. I bought this in Bolivia at the same time that I bought the harness. So that Bolivia buy was about 20 USD all up for the, the leash and the harness. Now we've upgraded and we've gotten the, the harness that you see on her there, um, the, the new one. So that was about 15, no, maybe almost 30 USD. And then I've just upgraded, like, it's funny, I got, I got rid of the anxiety for the harness. Now that that locks, it's really safe, and I see her, she's loving it, hanging out the door. So that's the harness, and I've just gone and bought a really secure leash. So the leash was more expensive than the harness, like, but 
it has a locking carabiner so that's going to be really handy i just want to future proof us um and yeah i'm like constantly driving and and i want to enjoying it and and having fun hanging out the hanging out the door but then i'm just thinking like oh it all all it takes is like kind of this to to go and the way i see it like leaning i'm just like all right we'll we'll get that um so we got a new leash and we also went to what they call the fedetaria we've got a couple solid ziplocs um so i've just chucked one already on the seat belt here so we've got two ziplock zip ties on that to just hold the seat belt in place which we're, we're trying our best mum like it's not obviously it's not gonna save me from dying but we're also in a tuk-tuk there's like no airbags or anything so <laughs> we're getting there and we bought a whole winch setup so that's uh all of the the rope literally 10 meters can pull 2,000 kilos we're only about 750 the vehicle including all our gear and patty and i and we've got a manual winch so we can get ourselves out of um kind of a minor issue if we if we get into one but fingers crossed we don't right usually until now we've been able to push ourselves out of everything and if we're in sand where we can't put a, a manual winch to we do still have a chef's chopping board that i'm curious to see the results of but usually however long it takes we never go on a road that no one uses so we're always traveling with a bit of resources and if we need a worst case scenario wait like 12 hours for somebody to come by and, and help us push we can kind of do that but then i just don't see myself not finding a solution within 12 hours to get myself out of any situation by myself so that's kind of how we're looking tuk tuk tori's doing really well patty's doing really well we're out of conception on road south again to argentina bariloche to start the patagonias officially how good so literally for us thankfully we've gotten everything we needed it was all a bit on the pricey side but the way i see it it's like it's it's her life we'll see how it fits on on you girl nice and the way we can lock it up like that it's just wow peace of mind that's that's what that is peace of mind for you to be <laughs> living living the best life yeah you relax nice that's a good sign of the length are you comfy there i think i need to tighten your harness a little bit but i might loosen it back there a bit pretty much brazil is going to be the next place where we're able to find stuff like this um that like us imported stuff so argentina bolivia paraguay they don't really get amongst that uruguay is might be a bit of a dark horse but i think for until we get to uruguay we're, we're good and i don't know it's been about a year since i've seen family and friends so hopefully in the next 12 months somebody can even bring a care package to me um if someone's coming over but flights are cooked at the moment so um yeah we're, we're really living out that solo traveling lifestyle and yeah i'm sorry patty i'm getting everything organized around you but without without this little one and all the oxytocin and and love that she brings it's like this this would be a lot harder than than it currently is so moving place to place keeps my mind off the homesickness and that, and that but um yeah and with patty as well the, the company of you it's it's incredible so loving the growth and uh, and the journey and we've got everything literally here to make this as comfortable as possible as wild camping and traveling in in a tuk-tuk can be so we're, we're doing it we're really living it what a day what a day hey cutie how's the new leash going it's good good stuff yeah look at you Enjoying it. Have the best time, Patty.